Males of Reddit. What is the craziest reaction you've had when you said no thanks? I don't want to have sex. You think I'm ugly so I'm going to kill myself. Number. I'm exhausted from your texts fighting with me while I'm at work. Doing work at work. Dealing with you being sad because I want 20 minutes to myself and your previous half dozen suicide threats today. I got a 45 minute lecture about how that makes her feel terrible about her body and how I'm basically emotionally abusing her by not wanting to have sex with her. We're no longer together. Thankfully. Me and my girlfriend broke up mutually. I woke up around 4 in the morning to her in my clothes and bed with me begging to have sex. I say no. Then she proceeds to drunkenly puke all over my possessions. One stroke 10 never do again. So I don't know what was up with this girl but she wanted in my pants probably more than was healthy. I turned her down on several occasions and usually she accepted it with grace and composure. I never ended up having sex with her and one day when I was propositioned by her she just freaked out and what went from a weird friendship turned into a full out bitch fest on me her saying that I was leading her on this whole time. Making her think I wanted to date her, keeping her out of the dating world, and basically just being a dong. I was later explained by one of our mutual friends that she apparently thought that I was being nice to her because I liked her and that I teamed with her online because I wanted to go on dates with her. Turned out she had this whole relationship fantasy about us that was never real and I was oblivious to it the whole time. Freaking anime protagonists. Had been working at a new bar for a couple of months. One of the waitresses who had a rep for sleeping with new doormen gets hammered and can't drive home. I take her home, walk her into her house, put her on the couch and put a blanket over here. As I'm leaning down putting the blanket over her she grabs my shirt and tries pulling me down to kiss her. I tell her she's drunk, so no thanks. And then she proceeds to tell everyone at work I'm gay for the next 6 months because I wouldn't take advantage of her while she was drunk. I've had a glass of vodka poured on me and told that I was in butt for leading her on. I didn't let her on I was having normal conversation with her. She was drunk and I wasn't. Unnecessary. My ex-girlfriend showed up at my apartment at 2am completely crap face telling me she needed to sleep it off at my house. Being that I didn't want to see her kill herself or someone else driving I let her crash in my bed and I take the couch. As I am trying to sleep she wanders out to the living room completely new telling me she wants me to come to bed. I tell her that I will absolutely not sleep in bed with her and whatever she had in mind would not be happening. Being that she was not a very rational woman while we were together and she was sober it escalated to her screaming at me and how I am going to regret denying her. At one point she mentions that unless I come to bed with her she is going to contact the police and tell them I raped her. I take this time to grab my car keys and leave immediately with her screaming at me all the way down the stairs. I decided to sleep at my dad's and not return to the apartment. Luckily she never tried anything and never contacted me again. Last I heard she was living across the country. The threat of being falsely accused seems really terrifying. Really difficult to get people to believe you if they say so. And can actually get you legally punished. She had a half crying half angry crisis. Kept asking if it was something she did or if there was someone else or if I was sick and ranting about how no guy says no to sex. You're mad about something all I could think the whole time is. I have to never, ever react like this if someone tells me they don't want to have sex. This is just embarrassing. I was seeing a girl off and on. And she texted and wanted me to come over and then go grab a drink. I drove over to her apartment and when she opened the door she was falling over drunk. I went in and poured myself a drink, and sat on the couch. She sat right beside me, and put her hands all over me and under my shirt, slurring and talking super close. Her teeth stained grey by the red wine. I just was really put off by it. I told her I didn't feel like having sex and she blew up crying and got angry and mean, saying that men can never say no and how can you do this to me? I calmed her down and told her I wanted to go home and just wasn't I'm the mood for this, or drinking in general. She asked me to take her to the bar so I dropped her off. She was usually a pretty respectable person I didn't judge her harshly. Drinking can make people irrational and emotional. God I hope the bartender just handed her ice water with a lime. I literally had to install a lock on my bedroom door and the first night I locked it she battled it for like 4 hours and was screaming open the goddamn door and I'm not going to rape you. Door stayed locked. 
I'm not going to rape you sounds just like rape. In our 20s me and my friends liked to hit up this local dive bar. Drinks were poured strong and cheap, decent beer selection, and not crowded at all. Since it was a bit divey we were usually the youngest by a generation. This one night some old woman that was either experimenting with the wet hair look, or was getting her wet every 10 minutes not entirely sure took a drunken liking to me. After I refused her a few times she say something like if you don't loosen up you'll be a virgin forever pulls her shirt up to flash me as a look what you're missing I guess and storms off. Bartender poured me a free one so I got a beer out of it at least. And say goodbye to these. If you don't have sex with me, I'm going to get out of this car and walk home. I don't even know where I am so I'll probably die. The next day, her body was found in a small clearing. I guess she really showed me in the end. I feel like I've wrote this before more than once so I'll Coles notes it. Went out with friends. Very open crowd. Went to bedroom with girl. While making out she says no. I stop. She starts stuff again, says no when I move to do more. I stop, pulls me back again, clothes off. Things go farther, she says no again. I get up, get dressed and exit room. She's upset. People ask, rightfully, what the frick happened. She tells them exactly what happens and they got mad at me saying that's just how she plays. She was into consensual, non-consensual play. I say something along the lines of what's a game to you is 510 for me and a dread I'd take to the grave. The women there then questioned my sexuality and made fun of me for the remainder of the night. In college. Had a few trysts that ended badly. Decided to take it slow on the next one. Hung out with a girl one Saturday while we were both pretty drunk. Made out on my bed. She started taking her clothes off and I said, not yet. She screamed at me. She said that I basically told her that she was hideous. She never talked to me again. Spread rumors that I was gay. Every time I would meet a new woman, she would meet with them privately and lie about me. Didn't really have much luck with ladies the rest of college. The craziest reactions would be them not taking no for an answer. And persistently kept asking. Thinking that would wear me down. And honestly, they did wear me down. She started pouting and said fine then I'm going to stop sending you pictures and talking dirty to you. I said that's probably a good idea. I don't think your boyfriend would like you doing that anyway. Now can we please just watch Flubber? Or he'll go home. Your call. After seeing I was annoyed, she tried the I'm sorry route and started trying to cuddle up and undo my belt again. I said apparently we couldn't be friends and went home and finished watching Flubber alone. She swung at me. She missed. I tried to close the door. She shoved her leg through. With the gap available between frame and door with her thigh there. She popped me in the face. I ripped the door open and Sparta kicked her butt into the wall across my door and slammed the door. She called the cops. Other roomie recorded it all unbeknownst to me and gave the cops the footage. She had to leave and was handed a 30 day to evict. Several life lessons were learned that everyone should learn. 1. Just because I slept with you once doesn't mean I will again. Especially when I felt like I had to check for a pulse halfway through. 2. Never sleep with your roommates. Ever. Seriously. 3. Don't go swinging on someone regardless of gender and not expect it to be reciprocated. Equal rights. Equal lefts. Your roomie saved your hide. Short story. I got hit with crowbar. Long story. She said okay. We walked back to my place. I guess she was still thinking it might happen there. Not at hers. A loony came charging out of his house screaming about us throwing snowballs at his door. We hadn't. And whacked me with a crowbar in the ribs. She stopped him before he hit me again don't really remember how. And just then the police he'd already called turned up. Got me to hospital. Two broken ribs. One cracked. One collapsed lung. GF did say, when she visited me next day, it was all my own fault for not staying and fricking her. P. What did the police do about the guy that hit some random person with a crowbar? On our date, she had gotten drunk while I had stayed sober. When I got her back to her place, she wanted to do it, but I don't roll that way. She got pretty upset and said I have to do her, along with some other fairly presumptive things, and she was incredibly persistent. I eventually got her to accept that it wasn't happening that night, and I got her to go to bed. Not that crazy in the grand scheme of things, 
she and I ended up dating for a year or so, and she was generally a very kind and caring person. Nothing particularly crazy, but I messed around with a pretty sex crazed girl for a few months in college. She initially responded with how are you not always thinking about and wanting sex, explained refractory periods, soreness of the whole male sexual apparatus, all that jazz. Whenever I tried to leave she'd accost me and make my anatomy betray me until I gave in and would regret if for said soreness later. She texted me repeatedly to come over one day while I was playing tabletop war games with some friends. And I was like you know, I want this more. Never went to her place again after that. Got good at war machine. The nerd inside always wins. In college I passed on hanging out with my FWB a good number of times to play magic. The gathering. I had a girl tell our mutual friends I raped her. Luckily, they didn't believe her and she later told them she was just mad that I turned her down. Oh, that's a relief. And here I was worried that you'd almost ruined my life over something petty. Went over to a girl's place and we were watching a movie when we started making out and were almost about to do it. When I realized all the psychotic behavior she had displayed in trying hard to not even meet me initially and knew this would just end up being worse. So I said, nah, I'm good, this doesn't feel right and left. A day later, she sends me a hate text calling me and butthole and saying I was begging to meet and this is why I was single and would go through life doing nothing but playing video games. Yeah, okay, lady, you spent most of the time we spoke saying no to even a coffee date and now suddenly I am at fault. She says all that likes it's a bad thing. I've done this multiple times, sometimes I'm just not feeling it at the time or with that person. Every time though, girls are absolutely baffled. It's like you're challenging some sort of self-evident truth. They start looking at you as confused as if you said you truly believe the earth is flat and the moon landing was faked. At first, they don't believe you, then they think there's something wrong with them, then they get angry at you, then they still don't believe you, then they do weird stuff, if they don't really know you. Or start ranting about all the terrible stuff you do and how great they are to you, if they know you. I've had girls after being refused try to be seductive that just ended up really cringy. For example, one girl just took off her shirt and bra with her back turned, looked back at me and goes, Oops, you saw that still in number. I've had a girl come over and put my hand on her vagina yeah okay. Imagine a random guy putting a girl's hand on his dong when she's not in the mood. It's not sexy. I've had girls say things like, what are you talking about? All guys want sex. I've had girls ask me to watch them masturbate. Which when you're not turned on feels as weird and gross as continuing to watch the rest of a pee video after you've already finished. They end up thinking it's because they're not pretty enough or that I'm not into them. But they can't grasp the idea that I'm just not in the mood. I don't have a huge libido and a lot of my energy goes into work and bettering myself. Yet when I've refused sex and told the girl the truth about it, I get endless crap for it because that's not how guys are. In my experience not extrapolating this to every girl ever. A lot of girls have a double standard about girls and guys feelings when it comes to sex. If a girl doesn't want to have sex with a guy and refuses, she's empowered. If a guy doesn't, there's something wrong with him. Just my experience and two cents. I feel like women take rejection personally when it has nothing to do with them sometimes it has everything to do with them. Sometimes it's just us. We're tired. We're not feel the best mentally or emotionally. I had an abscess. Had just returned from the dentist and was on tramadol. I had no ability. She went mad and stormed out. Crazy B. Never try to jack off on codeine hydrocodone. Just won't happen. Like trying to push rope. Had my crotch cupped and squeezed in public after refusing to go home with a girl cause if I wasn't convinced before. Sexual assault will definitely change my mind. Had a girl crawl into my bed and masturbate while she thought I was asleep. That'd be okay if it was my girlfriend but it was someone I barely knew and had refused to sleep with. Oh no. Oh. The best one maybe, was a girl who after fooling around with a bit, but that I didn't want to have sex with, joked, if you don't frick me, then I might just rape you in your sleep. Yeah, I didn't sleep there. 
This isn't even every example and I won't lie. It's one reason it's difficult for me to see the social movements against sexual assault almost always framed as men abusing women, when it's been the exact opposite for me. But still I understand that anecdotes are just that, and I certainly think it's a minority of women. Maybe 10-15% have been sexually aggressive, but it does give me pause. Make me question some of the framing. In absurdly broad, anecdotal strokes, I found once we got to our late 20s, turning a woman down initially led to more frequent sex initially. I think by that time, sexually active women are used to sex on their schedule, and disrupting that led to more insistent encounters in the next week or so. Not something I ever tried for, just something I noticed in retrospect. We were in the middle of sex. Sometimes she used a toy also, and it was normally fine and good, but for some reason this time, it was just bores. She told me to stop moving, so now she's just masturbating. Basically, I felt so alone just then. Used, it's like I realized all the issues I had with the relationship, so I just stopped. Got up and said I'm sorry, I'm done with this. She first said, no, wait, I'm almost there. Which was exactly the wrong thing to say of course. What a selfish person she was in general. After a brief argument and explanation from me why this all happened, I got my clothes on and locked myself in the computer room. We broke up a few months later after she moved out. I've had sex with a couple girls that like to use their vibrator while I frick them but I've never had anyone tell me to stop so they could just use the toy. That's fricked up. I just worked for 30 hours straight to bring in a big project. I was exhausted. She decided it was time for sex. I said no. She said, oh come on. I said no and fell asleep. I woke up a few minutes later to find her with my dong out of my trousers. Rubbing it. I said number. She said you obviously want it. I said no I freaking don't. Leave me alone or we're through. Then she broke down in tears and I had to endure a grueling 2 hour discussion of how my refusal made her feel ugly and unwanted and she had a right to expect intimacy in a relationship. Yes, she was insane and yes, I ditched her soon after. And yes, she physically attacked me and called me every name under the sun. My friends when they suggest I use Tinder to get a hookup, they believe that a hookup will solve all of my problems? Telling them that I'm not interested, they really tend to freak out to the point of almost causing a scene. I think I need new friends. If their prerogative is the hydration status of your doodle, then yes, you need new friends. Intercourse doesn't solve all of your problems. If anything, it has potential for causing more. I went over to my friend's place once to chill and drink. He got a call and said the party's moving to this one girl's house because she's got a bottle. So six dudes roll up to this girl's house and it's just her and her roommate already hammered. The drunk host calls me cute and pours me a drink. She's attractive but seems crazy. Then she tries kissing me after about 2 minutes of meeting this chick and I'm not interested. She gets angry, calls me a social retard and moves around the room to get shut down by everybody. She keeps drinking and gets back to me and jumps at my trying to make out but I just sit her down in my chair and say I'm not going to frick you tonight. I think we left once the bottle was gone which worked out because the cops were called on her and showed up after we left. A few days later I heard she was at her ex fiancés house and killed herself with his shotgun. It was in a safe but she had a key. Really makes you think. Welp. That sucks. Nobody kills themselves because they didn't get sex. OP. You were witness to a glimpse of her life not a participant in it. Hope you don't carry that with you. Two stories. My wife has been declined a few times of late. I have an illness that plays havoc with my circulation and the medicine doesn't help either. Throughout our relationship, I've been declined time and time again, she doesn't have a high sex drive. First few times I said no thanks to her, she was dumbfounded and offended. My response was well what about when you don't want to do it? She reacted the exact way I had done on occasion in the past and it was amusing to see her understand how the rejection feels. Story to me and a girl hit it off and met up a few times. Lots of kissing and fooling, but she was waiting for me to take it to the next step. I'm quite shy and have been accused of rape led on before so I explained to her that I wouldn't be shagging her unless she expressly said to me that she wanted it. At the time we were warming up. She never did. We never did it. This just happened like a week and a half ago, and she was fairly drunk. 
I hooked up with a girl in a bar one night, and afterwards, I decided to myself that I didn't want to do it anymore because she wasn't my type of girl, but she still did. I felt bad for hitting it and quitting it, and I knew it wasn't going to be a very pleasant situation when I told her no. Anyway, the time comes, I tell her that I don't want to hook up anymore, and she lost her dang mind. She got in my face, completely invaded my personal space, called me a piece of crap, said why, I'm freaking hot, and a bunch of other stuff. I even told her that I would like to be pals, but she shot that down instantly, and she's been crappy to me ever since. It sucks. Just because a girl is hot, doesn't mean she's worth sticking your dong in. Trust me. Was totally planning on doing it, until I smelt her breath. After a quickly improvised excuse, I was told that I am. Honestly, so weird. Yebby. Yeah, well at least my mouth don't smell like marinated rotten pizza. She went ballistic. We'd both had a fair bit to drink but I still remember her reaction. There was a split second where she knew she was angry, but had to figure out exactly what she was angry about. I remember her saying number one. Just the fact that you assume I even want to have sex with you. And two, you don't want to have sex with me. And as she said that, I think she kinda realized she let on that she was actually offended I didn't want to sleep with her. Which I thought was kinda funny at the time, because number two basically negates number one. But maybe that was a bit dongish of me. She also said I was the most arrogant person she'd ever met. Which, to be fair, was true at the time. I was in a weird, manic. Super arrogant phase. Genuinely, I was a bit mental. Anyway, she kicked me out of her apartment. Disbelief, which usually turns into heavier flirtation and attempts at seduction. I've only had one person get angry and that was more of just at not understanding why I didn't want her. The best reaction was a conversation that evolved into a valued friendship based on mutual respect and respect boundaries. Good people make good friends. Anytime I have been propositioned by a woman who was drunk, high, or otherwise impaired, I have always turned them down. I know many guys rely on such tactics for sex, but I have always been the opposite. Usually, it is not a big deal, but I have had a few of them scream and yell at me, berating or belittling as if I was insane, or gay, or imagining any number of other issues I must have had to turn down the privilege of sex with them. And I will admit, some of those. I did turn down rather reluctantly, as I would have loved to had sex with them had they not been drunk or otherwise impaired. Nothing that stands out from any of those, though. The one that does stand out, who I refused while she was sober, was a girl I met online. We hit it off, and spent weeks chatting online or on the phone. This was in the late 90s, by the way, so a vastly different culture of meeting people online. Anyway, when we finally met up, she looked nothing like she had described herself, nor anything like her photos. The only thing that was the same was red hair. This wasn't a case of doctoring her own pictures, or using old pictures of herself, but rather obviously she had used someone else's pictures and based her description from them. And it wasn't just her looks, though that was a huge issue for me. Not that she was actually ugly. She was on the okay nice looking side of average, if a bit chubby for my tastes. But had she been upfront with her actual looks it wouldn't have pushed me away. Several other things became apparent that they had been lies, over the course of dinner, as well. And I was just getting all kinds of gut feelings that she was bad news. So while she was hinting in a hugely obvious way that we should skip a movie, the original plan for after dinner, and just go back to my place, I was busy covertly paging myself to go into work for an emergency, as she already knew I was on call, and I felt it the best way to escape. But luckily, after I faked the page, I did go to work, because she ended up following me, I didn't know it at the time, and sitting in the parking lot watching me go in. I spent an hour or so playing games on my work PC, and noticed her car, and her, as I was leaving. So rather than going home, I went to a sports bar, and hung out for a while. She followed me there too, trying to be covered but failing. I ended up running into another woman and going home with her, and the stalker did not follow us. But, she did stalk me for another month or so afterwards she had my phone number and license plate and knew where I worked. She never did anything directly, other than call and PM and email me a ton, all of which I ignored. And eventually she gave up with no further craziness. 
Not sure that this story counts, since I did not directly decline sex, and I believe even if I had had sex with her, it would have ended up similar or worse. But there is my story for you. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.